You guys ready? <laughs> Krista, you ready? You want to pull your mic down? I don't forget about my cookies. Oh, okay. I'll call the Alton Budget Committee meeting to order for uh, to restart, resume the meeting from January 10th at 6 p.m. The town hall. We'll uh, take a roll call. Mark Dekoff. Steve Miller. Lawrence Tilly. Barbara Howard. Lauren Carr. Christopher Dropless. And we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, basically on the agenda I just have, we're resuming the uh, meeting from January 10th for the uh, school board budget and warrants, and we'll close the public input so we can go into a budget workshop for the uh, school budget and warrants. So there were two items yeah, that for we the, did not get to. That's going to be under our budget workshop, which is the town. Okay. And Warren had one. Yep, that was the town. Okay. And then you had an item. Okay. And we'll do that in the budget workshop. Okay. So approval of the agenda. I'll move we approve the agenda as presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So we're gonna be starting with Article seven. Now, this article doesn't have any numbers in it other than the default budget, right? That's correct. That's because we, yeah. So, so question, point of order, Mr. Chairman. How do we vote on uh, a warrant article that's presented with no, with no dollar, high dollar amount? We can't put what we think the, the number should be. We have to put in what the school board has approved. There is the last known school board approved number, if you would prefer to put that in. Is this on that, that sheet? Not the unofficial, because that wasn't the last approved school okay. board number. Um, quite honestly, the last approved school board number did not contain the Prospect Mountain High School budget number, so that would not show a true representation of what the full budget number amount is. Has the school board voted a number that should go in there? Uh, no, I don't believe they have. So. We, there's nothing for us to look at then. We can't figure out a number now without it being voted on by that. the school board. I understand that. So we're not going to be able to do an operating budget today, right? Go ahead. What, what about the last budget? Correct. I have the meeting minutes that show that. Right so my, my, my question is, mm -hmm. since this is the last posted uh, public hearing for the school, why didn't the school board deliver a number to us? The school board didn't deliver a number to you because the school board had was waiting for your recommendations before deciding on a final number. But is it the school board's responsibility to deliver a number for us to vote on? You, you have the entire operating budget. You've gone over the Prospect Mountain budget. Um, the school board does have that, and that is something that, you know, Obviously, we have that number, the combined number, but it hasn't been voted on for Alton and Prospects. The two budgets is $13,216,497. That wasn't voted on because, again, we were waiting for your recommendations. And I always said our recommendation would come after public hearing. Okay. Okay. So what are we supposed to do? table it until after the public hearing and then work on it during the meeting portion of, the, of okay. the meeting. It is the responsibility of the school board to present their budget for us to look over. And you've got that. Hi. It's, it's your responsibility to give us a voter on an approved budget in a Warren article, not a Warren article that has two blank, two blank numbers in there. It was the vote of the school, it was the consensus of the school board to table that Warren article at our last meeting when we, we went through the motions for it. Hey, so obviously we'll table that one. Right? What are we going to do? Hmm? What are we going to do? Go on. Hey, Article 8. I, I, still, this is I, I still have another question. Hey, but this is When's the school board going to deliver the number? Yes, there won't the whole number. I've, I've explained. 
14. Excuse me, I have a, I have a question. A when is the school board going to give us a number in the Warren article? When are they going to give us a complete Warren article on the operating budget? When the school board convenes again to, to vote on. When is that? On, I don't know. We are posted for a meeting at this time. At what, when? To, we're, we're posted now. We're currently posted right now. If we needed to convene to get a number together, we could. Does it hurt you to say the date and time? Because I think that's what he's looking for. I think I just answered it and I said, you we said are it's posted, posted right now. I for said, it's what posted date and time? Today. It's posted what, today? for today. Okay. It's posted for the state and time. Do you have a quorum here to have a, to have a meeting? How can, this date and time right now, he's saying when is the school board going to vote on <clears throat> the numbers? I understand that, Barbara. I just answered the okay, question. We, we, we are posted. I don't understand either what's going on. Hey. Posted. We are posted. No, wait a minute. Uh, what part of we are posted you don't understand? So, the, oh, the school board is in session right now. So the school board's in posted. session, so can you do your I, vote so we can get our work done? Yeah, do you have a quorum? You're posted. Do you have a quorum here? Can you vote? Mr. Chairman. Yes. And I ask for a brief five minute recess. Yes. Five minute recess. <clears throat> Five, they got three. Okay. Is Lauren? Uh, he went. To, just had to run out for a second. He'll be right back. I'll wait for him to come back. What is this stuff? <laughs> Okay. Lauren. These are the cuts from Chuck from, uh, from the joint budget coming out. Yeah. Uh, if you want to hand those out. Cool. I'm just going to hold it afterwards. Yeah. So this included. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Deb dropped it off. Thanks. Does he know? Do you want me to go out? Yeah. Yeah. Could you? Oh, okay. Sure. I'll give that a check. Mm -hmm. The recess for five minutes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Chairman, can oh, I ask? Are you ready? I am meeting back in session. Can I ask where the school board is posted down this meeting? Um, the school board, I assume, Deb took care of it? Yep, she did. And if we, uh, she took care of the posting for Tuesday night and Thursday night. Where is it posted? Where she puts it is the elementary school, the high school, the SAU, and the post office. I believe by law, if you have a meeting, you have to post it in, in the building you're having it. Okay. At. Is it downstairs? Do you want me to go check? I can't. I couldn't find it, so okay. if you... Let me go check. We'll give us another moment. Hi. They haven't posted it. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's by the building, because I've checked that before. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. we got to wait for Christmas. would like to know where the selectman posted your that's, meeting for That's not our meeting. That's selectman's meeting. That's not ours. <laughs> well, it's six. Ready? <laughs> Downstairs. Hey, call the uh, meeting back to order. That was for nothing. Right. No, it was just. So you got five. a number for us? Yes. Um, Mark, on your unofficial. Yeah, it's the 13 216 497. That is correct. Thirteen million two hundred sixteen thousand nine four hundred ninety seven dollars Zero cents. Zero cents. All right, I'll read the article now. To see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate as an operating budget not to include appropriations by special warrant articles and other appropriations voted separately, the amount set forth on the budget posted with the warrant or as amended by the vote of the first session for the purpose set forth therein totaling $13,216,497 and zero cents. Should this article be defeated, the fault budget shall be 13 million one hundred and thirteen thousand three hundred and fifty four dollars which is the same as last year with certain adjustments required by previous action of the school district or by law or the governing body may hold one special meeting in accordance with RSA 4013 10 and 16 to take up the issue of the revised operating budget only 
The Warren article does not include appropriations in any other Warren articles. And the Alton Budget Committee's number is not in here yet. We're going to do that in our workshop after. And we'll take. Okay. That's this is your Warren article, not ours. No, but I'm saying the number would be yours. Yep. I'm just wondering how you vote on. How are you going to vote on this without a number from your recommendation? We've we've got it all right right here at the budget committees. You've got that sheet in front of you. Okay. But so. you're going over this tonight. You you just asked us for a number. Right. But yours isn't in here. Yours will be. I told. I said mine would come after okay. public input. Okay. So any public input on the operating budget or an article? Okay, none. So Article 3 is the contract. To see if the school district will vote to approve the cost items included in the collective bargaining agreement reached between the Alton School District and the Alton Teachers Association, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current, current staffing levels. 2012 to 2013, $64,990.58. And 2013 to 2014, $46,519.59. And further to raise and appropriate the sum of $64,990.58 for the 2012-2013 fiscal year. Such sum represents the additional costs attributed to the increase in salaries and benefits over those of the appropriation of the current staffing levels paid in the prior fiscal year in accordance with the most recent collective bargaining agreement. The Alton School, School Board recommends $64,990.58 by a vote to five. The Alton Budget Committee has not voted on it yet. So now we'll take public input on the teacher's contract. That, no, that would be in our, to present. Okay. That, that's in our regular meeting. You're going to present. Would you, would you like information on it now? Sure. Um, the, uh, all well, wait a minute. We're going to take information on it now, but we're not going to vote on it. Yet. Or we're not going to have any questions till we go into our meeting because this is public input. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. We can wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. But right, so if they want to, if they want to present it, they can. Okay. The Alton School Board and the Alton Teachers Association entered into negotiations and eventually into mediation. On the negotiating team were myself and Linda Goosens. Um, helping us out and substituting for us at times were Sandy Wyatt and also Jeff St. Cyr and I thank them for their help and their dedication with this and also um, to the uh, Alton Teachers Association for working together with us on this agreement. Uh, in going through the terms of the agreement and what we reached there were several language changes that um, we were able to uh, to make on this. Um, I can go through those one article at a time if you wish, or I can give you just an overview of what it is. Um, however, certain things that we, we came up with, we've made some changes to um, professional development. The board will only pay lodging expenses for conference and workshops lasting two or more days that require 60 miles or more of from the employee's residence. A waiver of the two-day requirement may be requested and approved at the discretion of the superintendent. That's um, that's Article 4. Um, there's also in there. In sick leave, part-time teachers will accrue prorated sick leave based on full-time equivalent status. That was stricken from the language, and that's under 6.1. Part-time teachers will not be accruing that anymore. Um, also, under emergency days, part-time teachers will accrue prorated emergencies based on FTE percentage. That was also stricken from the original, from the current contract, and that's under 6.2. Um, under leave provisions with pay, um, this several language changes and some, some term changes there. That's uh, section 6.5.1. Um, the board agrees to establish a six, sick leave bank to cover eligible teachers starting the second consecutive year of, the, of, the, of teaching in Alton. That was stricken from the language. Um, other things that were, that were stricken from it, uh, evidence of disability or incapacitating illness, that was changed to just disability. Um, let's see. The essay, the commit going on here, let's see. Um, the main change here 
was um, in year one in salary changes. Uh, there was an increase in the 2011-2012 salary schedule, step one through 16 by 1% in the first year, and that would be 2012-2013, there'll be one step for anyone with between steps 1 and 15. Anyone at step 16 on June 30th will receive a 3% cumulative increase over 2011-2012. The step 16 amount and goes off the schedule for the 2012-2013 year. For example, a teacher on track 1, step 16 in 2011-2012 will be paid 1.3% 03% of 51,377 dollars or they'll have a salary of 52,918 dollars. The teacher at track 4 step 16 will be paid at 1.03 times 62,532 dollars or 64,408 dollars for 2012-2013. Other benefit changes, the point of service, and this is a pretty important one, the point of service health insurance goes away or the employee pays the difference. Sabbatical also has been stricken from the proposed contract altogether. Um, and of course, there's the professional improvement lodging change that I mentioned earlier. Um, in the second year of the contract, um, there's no increase to the salary schedule, uh, but there would be one step for anyone between steps 1 through 15 for 2013-2014, um, which would then be status quo until a successor agreement is reached. Anyone at step 16 or off schedule in 2013-2014 will receive a 1% increase over their 2012-2013 compensation, which will be status quo until a successor agreement is reached. In other words, it would be that one time. It wouldn't continue after the, it, there would be no evergreen. There'd be nothing grandfathered on this. Um, also, they would be paying, um, I don't know that, but it's 1% more on their on their insurance. The, the HMO um, that everyone would be required to pay from, not necessarily be on, but the district would pay 91% of the premium um, the second year as opposed to 90%. So essentially their copay goes up 1%. So and again, the estimated increase for the first year of the contract is $64,000. $990, and in the second year, it's $46,519. Smash all the buttons at once. Just unplug it. <laughs> right there. See that yellow mark, gray cord? Pull it right out. Mm -hmm. Underneath, oh. unplug the cord. The gray cord. Right in front of well, the thing oh. was, is there... Yeah, he plugged it in. Ah. Yeah, that's the one. Get it. All right. So, done. Yes. Is any public input? I didn't know if anybody from the the teachers association wanted to speak to this, or if they just wanted to do public input or whatever. No. <coughs> no. No. They said I did a good job. <laughs> I got my grade. Okay. Hey. Uh -huh. Are we waiting for a call or something? Kathy Holt. Are you ready to move on? Article 9. Uh, that's nothing to do with us. Article 10. Special warrant article. In the event that Article 3 is defeated to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of them. 150,000 to be added to the existing building and ground expendable trust created 3108 under RSA 19, uh, 19820-C for the purpose of the building and repair and maintaining school facilities. This one article is to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends 150,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. And the Alton Budget Committee preliminary vote was two yeses, three noes, so it didn't pass on the Alton Budget Committee. Any public input on that one? Seeing none. 
Article 11, special, special warrant article, in the event that Article 3 is defeated to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $135,000 and no cents to be added to the roof expendable trust previously established in 31811 under the provision of RSA 351 for the purpose of repairing, replacing, and maintaining roofs on the school buildings. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by voters. The Alton School Board recommends 135000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee's preliminary recommendation was three yeses, two noes, so it would have passed. Any public input? Seeing none. Article 12, special warrant article. In the event that Article 3 is defeated, to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 40 $4,000 and no cents to be added to the Windows Replacement Fund, <coughs> excuse me, Windows Replacement Fund previously established in 3805 under the provision of RSA 35-1 for the purpose of replacing the windows at the Alton Central School. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends 44000 by a vote of 5-0. to zero. The Alton Budget Committee had six yeses that would have passed in our preliminary vote. Any uh, public input on that? Seeing none. Article 13, spe a special warrant article. In the event that Article 3 is defeated to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 and no cents to be added to the bathroom refurbishment fund previously established in 3805 under the provision of RSA 35-1 for the purpose of refurbishing the bathrooms at the Alton Central School. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends $30,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The uh, Budget Committee in their preliminary vote recommended this six yeses. Any public input on that? Next article, Article 14, a special warrant article. In the event that Article 3 is defeated, to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 and no cents to be added to the Capital Reserve Fund, previously established in March 1998 under the provision of RSA 35-1 for the purpose of installing a fire suppression system. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by voters. The Alton School Board recommends $30,000 by a vote of 5-0. to zero. The Alton's Budget Committee recommended the 30,000. Our preliminary vote was, sorry, uh, five yeses, one no. How much do we have in this fund? Which one was it, did uh, you say? Fire suppression. The fire suppression? 239,011 dollars and 33 cents. Any uh, public input on that one? Seeing none. Just unplug that. Oh, okay. Go ahead on the fire suppression. Oh. Yes, come on. Found it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, basically, what they're doing is is they're back. He's gonna come up to the mic. Oh, sorry. State your question again, please. So I just noticed that. Uh, Say his name. Yeah, name, oh, please. Robert Daniels. Yep. I just noticed that the uh, all these articles are contingent or can be void if there's no or have no effect if Article Three is approved by the voters, right? Right. And that's because you wouldn't want to do all the refurbishments if the eighteen million dollar building is put in, right? Right. So that's what's going on. Um, it just seems that it would be too bad though to have the voters vote down perhaps the 18 million and then vote all of these refurbishments to be done carry out all these refurbishments and then you find that a year from now there's another plan that comes forward that's more reasonable than an 18 million dollar plan to eliminate the buildings the you know the temporary buildings and perhaps another uh, plan that you know is better than refurbishing all of the uh, doing all the refurbishments so I mean there's a risk of People turning down the 18 million, putting money into the refurbishments, and then later wishing that the money didn't go there and could have been spent on a on a better overall plan that's more cost effective and reasonable for the voters to agree on. You know. Yeah, we've been putting to. money in there. So since anyway, that's just, a, just an observation I'm making. They're, on, they're only uh, 
taking money out of these expendable trusts, the ones that they need pretty much on an emergency basis, there, there's large balances in most of these. Okay. So, for instance, let's say there's $30,000 in a bathroom. Right. For a bathroom, chances are it's going to be used. You know, if it's on a fire suppression system, yeah. chances are, I'm not on the school board, but I, the way I voted, I'm assuming that it won't be, it, it's not going to be used. You know, for a while. Can, can I also in there now. can I just interject on on that to him that the the window replacement that we've done already once and the bathroom replacement that we've done was known that if the renovation does go through it won't affect those new windows or new bathrooms so we will not be busting into something if we do refurbish it or replace it. Mm -hmm. That was definitely the forward thinking on this, that we would never improve upon a window or a bathroom if it was going to be torn up if the renovation got approved. So it would not go for nothing. It, it would not be touched in the renovation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you see my point. I, yeah, maybe, absolutely. Maybe you thought it through. So uh, you can do all of these reno renovations or at least get them approved to perhaps be done, but maybe and not be done if somebody's over overseeing this to make sure that you're not doing work now and then later on. Absolutely. Which, nope. Kathy. No, you never mm -hmm. didn't so, do it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> Did you want to say, I didn't no, mean to interrupt you, I'm sorry. Um, I was just wondering if you knew um, what the balances were on all these accounts that um, are contingent on uh, Article 3. If you took all the balances and then you took, say for example, if all of these passed, what would your balance be to what, work with for uh, What would our new balance be? I haven't done that, but I can certainly I, total it I up. I seem to remember at a meeting that Steve asked what the balances were in all these accounts, and I, and I want to say it came, and I could be wrong, to about three quarters of a million. It is in the handout that was given out at the public that had that. Um, and you have almost you have half it? a million in on Warren articles. Barbara, here, so it's about 840,000. 840, and then I have about 404,000. You add up all of those, if I'm mm -hmm. correct on that. Yeah. So that's, uh, you know, we could do a lot of renovations with that. Mm. But okay. hey. looking I, at I, not I, trying to. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Any more public input on that article? You ready? Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. You ready to move on? Okay, Article 15, to see if the school district will vote to establish a contingency fund under the provision of RSA 198-4-B to meet the cost of unanticipated utility expenses that may arise during the fiscal year 2013 at the Alton School District. Furthermore, to raise and appropriate the sum of $60,000 towards this purpose in the name of the Alton School Board as agents to expend this fund, a detailed report of all expenditures for the contingency fund shall be made annually by the school board and published with their report. Any funds not used will be returned to the town of Alton. The Alton School Board recommends 60,000 by a vote of five to zero. The Alton Budget Committee has not acted on this one. Any public input? Seeing none. Article 16, special warrant article. In the event that Article 3 is defeated to see if the school district will vote to cr create an expendable trust fund under the provision of RSA 198-20-C to be known as the parking lot paving expendable trust for the purpose of repairing, replacing, and maintaining the parking lots on, a on the school properties. Furthermore, to raise and appropriate the sum of $10,000 and no cents towards the this purpose and the name of the school board is agents to expend from this fund. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by voters. The Alton School Board recommends 10000 by a vote to 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee recommended in the preliminary four yeses, two noes, it would have passed. Any public input? Seeing none. Article 17, to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $15,000 and no cents to replace the current facilities truck with a truck without a plow, with, without plow. The Alton School Board recommends 15,000 by a vote of five to zero. The Alton Budget Committee Recommended that six, six yeses. The preliminary vote it would have passed. Any public input? Seeing none. Moving on to Article 18. Article 18 to see if the Article 18 a special warrant article to see if the school district will vote to establish a non capital non-lapsing and reserve fund known as the Alton Professional Development Fund for the purpose of reimbursing Alton Central School 
teachers for the cost of professional development and to raise and appropriate up to the sum of $20,000 and no cents for the June 30th unreserved fiscal year 2012 fund balance surplus available for transfer on July 1st of this year to be placed in the fund and to designate the Alton School Board as agents to expend from the Alton Professional Development Fund. A detailed report of all expenditures from the fund shall be made annually by the school board and published in their annual report. The Alton School Board recommends up to 20,000 by the vote by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee has not acted on this article. Any public input yet? On this, sorry. Any public input? I, it, there's just a quick question, just a point of order. When it says the school board recommends up to $20,000 and it's not a hard number, why is that? It's because the warrant article is being funded by surplus fund balance. And if we state a specific number and we don't have that, if let's say we are one cent short in surplus, it's null and void. Right. It doesn't Thank pass. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Article 19, special, special warrant article. To see if the school district will vote to add to a non-capital, non-lapsing reserve fund known as the Improvement Instruction Fund for the purpose of reimbursement prospect mountain high school teachers for the cost of professional development and to raise and appropriate this up to the sum of $15,000. $810 from the June 30 unreserved fiscal year 2012 fund balance surplus available for transfer on July 1st of this year, which is 52 and 70 percent of the total monies of the $30,000 in no sense, and further that the additional appropriation shall be contingent upon both Alton. 52.70% in Bonsteads, 47.30% school districts adopting the article and appropriating and transferring the respective sum of money. The Prospect Mountain High School Board is the designated agent to expend from the Improvement of Instruction Fund. A detailed report of all expenditures from the fund shall be made annually by the respective school boards of Alton and Bonstead and published in the Alton in their annual reports. Recommendation, Joint Budget Committee voted 8-0, the JMA board voted 9-0-0-1. The Alton School Board recommends 15,810 by a vote of 5-0. The Alton Budget Committee has not acted on this. The article wasn't here until tonight. Any public input on that? Moving on, Article 20, a special warrant article, to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $36,000 361, $36,361.69 to establish a contingency fund under the provision of RSA 198-4-B contingency fund to meet the cost of unanticipated utility expenses that may arise at the Prospect Mountain High School during the fiscal year 2013 and the sum representing 52.70% of the total monies, $68,997.51. One percent of the general fund, and further that this appropriation shall be contingent upon the both the Alton, 52.7 percent, and the Bonstead, 47.3 percent, school districts adopting this article and raising and appropriating the respective sum of money. The Prospect Mountain High School Board is hereby designated the agent to expend this contingency fund. A detailed report of all expenditures from the contingency fund shall be made annually by the respective school boards of the Alton and Barnstead and published in the annual report. The remaining fund. The remaining funds not used will be returned to the district. District. The re recommendation, Joint Budget Committee voted 8-0. to zero. JMA Board voted 9-0-0-1. The Alton School Board recommends $36,361.69 by a vote of 5-0. to zero. The Alton Budget Committee just saw the article, so we have not acted on it. Any public input? Article 21. Special warrant article to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $25,000 and no cents to be added to the non-lapsing capital reserve fund under the provision of RSA 35-1-C known as the Prospect Mountain High School General Maintenance Fund. Said fund to be used for the purpose of meeting the cost of unanticipated general maintenance expenses that may arise at Prospect Mountain High School. Said sum representing 50% of the total monies, $50,000 and further that the Appropriation shall be contingent upon both Alton 50% and Barnstead's 50%. School districts adopting this article and raising the appropriate 
eating their respective sum of money. And further to designate the Prospect Mountain High School Board as the agent to expend from the fund in a detailed report of all expenditures from the General <laughs> Maintenance Capital Reserve Fund shall be made annually by the respective school boards of Alton and Barnstead and published with their annual report. Recommendation, Joint Budget Committee voted 8-0. to zero. JMA Board voted 9-0-0-1. The Alton School Board recommends 25,000 by a vote of 5-0. to zero. The Alton Budget Committee just saw the article, so has not had a recommendation. Kathy, how much do we have in this fund now? They can vote again last year again. Hold on, let me check my spreadsheet. Hey, any public input? $70,555. However, I just received notice that they've used 32,000 of it. They're requesting to be withdrawn from this account. For what? The Prospect Mountain General Maintenance. Well, are we using this for maintenance or are we using this just for well, this is a maintenance problem, public not so, just little maintenance hey, here and there. Virgil, this is I, public input. We can. We'll do. We're going to do this. We've we got to do this article in our meeting. All right. Hey. Right. So that we that takes us through our articles and our budget for the public portion. Is there any public input? Yes. Come on up. <laughs> just sit down and either way. Introduce yourself again and please don't. <laughs> it's for the television. It's for the television. Make sure you got the mic. Uh, just to uh, state your name again, please. Trying to think of the average citizen in in the. Uh, you in need Alton. to state your name again. Robert Daniels. Okay, thank you. Trying to think of the average person in Alton who yeah. get the vote instead of yeah. dollars for them. And uh, reading, trying to read through these articles and trying to understand them. Uh, a lot of people don't have the time to pay attention to what goes on in these all of these boards and so forth. But I kind of feel sorry for them <laughs> going in, for, especially some that may be reading these for the first time and try to make a you know a decision on which way to go. Um, have you had any thoughts on that? I mean, as, as far well, as how they, you, they have X. First of all, um, it's on Channel Twenty Six. Right, on Metrocast, yeah. so uh, they can always, if they have concerns, ask for the schedule. There's also copies in the library that they could either watch there or essentially they can, right. they, they can bring home. If there was any, you know, issues, you know, that they just couldn't get a hold of a, a copy, I'm sure we'd bend over backwards to try to get a copy to somebody. Um, it's probably going to be reported in the newspapers. Okay, there's probably going to be some discussion in the newspapers. There usually is between now and the uh, deliberative sessions. Right. Okay, and uh, there's always the, the, at the corner over a cup of coffee. Right. But then there's always a question of interpreting them. And sure. You know, sometimes you people who are involved with it all the time Try to pick them apart. have trouble <clears throat> interpreting them yourself. So mm -hmm. they might be able to get this to read, but then, you know, they're struggling. You know, I don't really know what that means. Yep. <laughs> The deliberative I'm session, sure I find, is solution. another, another t like you mentioned, Steve, is another time to go over where you discuss it. That's typically where I go for the town of Alton to yeah. understand all their Warren articles as well. And it's, it's actively debated, and I get that tape's available too. Yeah. Are there usually this many Warren articles, or is this an unusual Last year? couple of years they have been. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the towns. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last couple of years, it's two gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When there's Unfortunately, five, six pages of old. Yes. Hey. Yeah. We won't go into that now. <laughs> okay. Anything else? No. Just... Thank, you. Thank you. Any other public input? So I can co close the uh, public input. Now we can go into our uh, budget workshop. We might as well start at the uh, at the Warren articles, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just go through and <coughs> get our votes on the Warren articles now. Do I have to read all these again? No. Yeah, would you? No. <laughs> How long do you want to be? Right, the first money article we'll be looking at is Article Two which is the uh, school board's compensation. I'd uh, take a motion to I'd like to amend. Any? Uh, Seconded. 
I'd like to take and cut um, $100 off of the chairman of the school board uh, and $100 off each member. And I think that money ought to go to Kathy Oblinas. One time stipend this year. I second it. She's come in here. She's answered the questions for us. Always She's does. probably answered 300 questions throughout this whole thing. Yeah. At least. And I don't think we've gotten three, three from the school board. Yeah. She bends over backwards. You heard her last night, a Tuesday night. She's working herself into an ulcer because the numbers weren't available. We had to sit there with a hand calculators and scratch pad to figure the numbers because the school board hadn't hadn't brought the numbers in front of us. No, Krista, we sat here and had to do those numbers. It should have been either All done. There should have been either two pages and it should have said, "Here's yours. You haven't voted on them yet, and you want to present this or not." There's that, there, was, there was no reason for us to sit here for 45 minutes and go over those numbers. It's a lack of the school boards uh, doing their job. And this girl, right, this, sorry, this lady is doing the work. He's old enough to be my dad. And she deserves a one-time stipend. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate That's that. my opinion. Humbling. I'll second that. All right, so how, how would that read? You don't approve it. Don't so you're it. just going to vote to take out? Well, I think what we'd have to do is uh, list her, t her job title and not her name, right? Yeah, but we, we can't do anything with no, it. Because these are elected officials. When we, come to the, when we come to the budget, we put a one-time stipend of, of $500. Under the SAU office line. I'm sorry, or under the business manager line. Whoa. Yep. Steve, mm -hmm. can we change these from... So we can't approve this article, this mm -hmm. this war this warrant article right now. No, we can't change it. Can't. Vote to not approve it. Okay. So, do I have a motion to approve or not approve this article? I make a motion, you know, that we approve article um, uh, article two yeah, as written. Make a negative motion. You got to you got to yep. approve it, then yep. vote it down if that's what you want to do. Right. Yep. So somebody, I need a second. second. Okay. All right, and we're going to have to talk our names in for the vote because we don't have a recorder here tonight. Sure. Mark Dekoff, no. Steve Miller, no. Lawrence Tilly, no. Roger McDonald, no. Barbara Howard, no. Norka, no. Mr. Adiropoulos, yes. Yep. One yes, six no's. Okay, Article 3. Okay. Now we a motion on Article Three. Well, hang on. I got a couple questions on it first. <laughs> <laughs> what, you have eight hundred motion. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we? I motion uh, that we approve Article Three at eighteen million eight hundred and eight hundred thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars. Or approve it as written. Article three is written. Second. For discussion. Okay. You have over eight hundred thousand in the trust funds, the different funds. Now you're asking for the eighteen million eight hundred thousand plus the four hundred thousand? No. That's added into the eight eight hundred eighteen. That's read further on down. Well if you wanted eighteen forty two and you got the 410. That comes out to 18,452, oh. not 18,8. What it is is 18,8 is the total amount for the project. Then we have to disclose how much the bond is that we're going for because we will be also using offsetting funds from the expendable trust, the the 88, the the you know all the different trusts that are listed there. So that 18,8 is the bond. No, 18,8 is the total project. All right. Gross, gross top. So amount. if 18,42. Is, is the, the bond. Is the bond. And you want 410,000 for the first interest. Is part of the bond, but we have to disclose the first year interest if it falls in this fiscal year that we're discussing and reason. Well, why isn't it 18,452 instead of the 18,8? The 18,8 is the gross amount of the project, but we have other monies that will help offset the cost of the project, which are these expendable trust funds, the building one. Over 800000 Yes. So that the, the, the bond that we have to go for is lower because of the already amounts that we have in the expendable trust. 
then why aren't we asking? Because I know when I read it, and you start looking, and it's 1842 with 410, comes out to 1852, I would vote no on that just because you're asking for more money and nobody knows why. You're asking for 18.8, but if you add your figures right here, it doesn't come out to 18.8. Those two aren't what makes it. If, if you start it and then you subtract out everything and then you add in the interest, that's what makes it. And we have to disclose the gross amount of the project, not just the bond, the project itself, because the project has to have a budget that we can't exceed. Where we come up with the monies to fulfill that project is split between the expendable trust capital reserves and then the bond that we're going for for the 18 million 42. Maybe that, uh, you know, to kind of touch on what was said earlier, modify this so that it says, you know, total amount already in the funds. Well, so at the very end, it has, you know, your, your initial start. What you want is 18 8. Out, and what you have to add in. Well, that's what it says right in the front. You want 18 8. And the bond's going to be 1842, mm -hmm. but when you but add the 410, it, it, you're coming out with a completely different figure on this. Take the 18.8 and subtract out all of this. But we've got over 800,000 in these funds, so it and still doesn't add come out. In that 410. But not all $800,000 in these funds can go towards right. the building project. That's why all of those funds are written in with the dollar amounts that we can use legally. They're not all expendable trusts, that's why. I don't mind sitting with you and going over the numbers with you, Virgil. I just think people are going to be confused on it. I know that our school district legal counsel approved, wrote up, approved these, and DRA has blessed them as well. So I understand they're not exactly the legal easiest. Legal counsel's got their own language. It lies the problem. Exactly. I, um, th there is no doubt in my mind that the school is in need of significant renovation. Absolutely, positively. There's no question about that. The kids absolutely deserve more and, they deserve, and the teachers deserve more and they deserve better. Okay, and they deserve it quite frankly yesterday as opposed to tomorrow. That's what I, I honestly believe. But I really have a problem voting for the $18 million for a number of reasons right now. Number one, just the general economic environment. Everybody's familiar with it. I don't have to you know, list all the, the specifics. I have a problem with, it's an all or none deal on $18 right. million. There is no plan B, there's no plan C, right, for, vo for the voters to choose from. It's either this plan or not. I have been at a number of the meetings uh, that the school board and the board and the um, uh, buildings and grounds has presented and they've done their best to educate the public but the fact of the matter is if there's been 20 people at a meeting I'd be surprised if you, if you counted up the people you know who weren't you know almost didn't have to be there okay I have a real problem with um, the demographics of um, building a school for 800 and uh, 800 or uh, 725 to 800 students. Um, in as much as the elementary school population runs about 10% of the population of Alton, that means that you're targeting somewhere around 7,500, uh, you know, to 8,000 um, residents uh, coming up in a reasonable period of time. And I just don't see that happening. New Hampshire has an aging population. Uh, the families are getting smaller. The size of the families are getting smaller, not bigger. Um, the people that are moving in are older, not necessarily younger, etc. That's just my opinion from the data I read. There, there's other data out there. I haven't read everything, but I have a vote, so that's what I see. I got a real problem with an empty third floor that's going to be broom closets. What I really see happening is that third floor that's going to have five extra classrooms is going to be a beautiful office for this department head, a beautiful office for this department head, a beautiful yep. office for this department head, and the screwdrivers go in the other. Okay? There is, no, there is no other plan B. I also have a real problem with the school board as it's made up right now 
having the competency to manage in excess of a $20 million project. Assuming this passes, a geothermal passes, assuming uh, you want two gyms, I mean, the very fact that you're talking about bringing two gyms is it just, it doesn't calculate in my brain, okay, that that's even an option out there. You know, 15,000 square feet of gym space. And I understand some of it's going to be cafeteria and all, but it's, that, that's, my, that's my feeling. I don't think that the school board as it's current made up is competent enough to manage a $20 million project. I don't think they are competent and professional enough to go one-on-one -on -one against the major contractors, against the subcontractors' problems when they, uh, when they come up, uh, if there's uh, problems between the architect, and I, I'm just saying it in general, whoever the, whoever the architect is. I got a real problem with the school board deciding what goes out to bid and what doesn't. That, but that lack of transparency makes me absolutely crazy. Um, their own policy says, well, we can make an exception anytime we want. Well, they make an exception whenever they want. Yep. I saw at a recent meeting there was going to be a Warren article on a telephone system.